It's a little bit different than what uh, the problems we've done before. The reason why this one's a little bit different is if you guys remember, remember when we did adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing rational um, expressions, right? We added, subtracted, multiplied, divided. Do you guys remember the first thing we always wanted to do? If we had a trinomial, binomial, or anything, the first thing we always want to try to do is what? Factor. Ladies and gentlemen, look at your function you're trying to graph. If it is factorable by any means, factor it out. All right? So let's look at this. Is x plus 5 factorable? No. Is the numerator factorable? Well, let's see. All right? What two numbers multiply to give you 5, but add to give you negative 4? You could do. Did I write it wrong again? I did. It's minus 5. Jeez, I'm horrible. Yes, it's plus 5 and minus. Of course you said no, it's not factorable. Plus 4 and minus 5. Is that factorable? Yes, this is factorable, OK? Now, the reason why would you want to do that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it took me how long to do that last example? 12 minutes, right? It's a long time to do a problem, right? I mean, obviously, I know I was explaining it. But if there's a simpler way to do the problem, you're probably going to want to factor it and see if you can do that, correct? Of course, right? No, the other one was not factorable, so you had to do it that way. But this one, let's see if we can factor it. When we factor it, I get um, x plus 5 times x minus 1. Then I get x plus 5. Well, ladies and gentlemen, does something divide to 1 here? Yeah, that's x plus 1. Really, so what that's saying is my function graphed is not going to be something crazy, but it's actually going to be just a linear equation. f of x equals x minus 1. Black box. So they asked us to graph it. Well, guys, the graph isn't going to be a hyperbola. The graph is x minus 1. So let's graph this. So again, remember everything to be written in y equals mx plus b form. So I go down to negative 1. And I follow the slope, which is 1 over 1. Up 1, over 1. Up 1, over 1. Right? However, the graph, the function is not f of x equals x minus 1. The function that I asked you to graph was x squared plus 4x minus 5 divided by x plus 5. What is our value in this function that x cannot equal? What is our value in this function x cannot equal? Negative 5, right? Even though this function, even when we simplify it, we still know, as I have this written, x cannot equal negative 5. So therefore, even though the graph looks like this, x still cannot equal what? Negative 5. However, you guys know this is a line, right? It's not going to approach an asymptote. It's a line. So it's not going to be approach an asymptote. So we're not going to draw a dotted line because the graph does not approach that. However, we do have a discontinuity at negative 5. So I go over to negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we go down. And ladies and gentlemen, do you guys remember doing line graphs? Remember you had closed and open circles? right? The open circle said that point was not a part of your um, solution. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to leave an open circle here. All right. So there might be some problems, or you guys have some discontinuities. You're going to want to graph, factor it, simplify it. Graph the linear, but still understand the discontinuity where it's going to be an open circle. All right? OK. So what I would like to do is um, I don't really want to.